Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. So I did not plan on filming today. I'm like still in my workout clothes, but the baby did not sleep good last night. So I got up, I went to do my workout and I was just dragging. I'm so tired. So I went to the loaded tea place. This is the first time I get this. Like everybody's been raving about it. It is just, I don't know, I'm, I'm drinking it and it's giving me energy, but it tastes like sweet tarts. I don't know, maybe I need to try another flavor, but my favorite go-to is a hot caramel macchiato from McDonald's. Ugh, I don't care if it's 100 degrees outside, I love a good hot caramel macchiato. Mmm, so good. So, I mean, I guess it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm definitely feeling the energy. So, anyway, y'all been asking for a thrift haul, which I don't even remember the last time I did a thrift haul. I think it might have been when I went to that big sale and spent like a hundred dollars and that was like probably two months ago but I've been so busy with orders and Christmas and craft shows and stuff that the thought of going shopping for more stuff just stresses me out so I have not been shopping at all and there haven't been many sales around here but I did see that there was gonna be an estate sale tomorrow and I just I'm tired I didn't feel like working in the shop so I'm like let me hit up the thrift stores in town since I haven't been in a long time and see if I can find y'all some stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna video in the store because I'm being super, super picky about what I pick up. So I kinda wanna show y'all some stuff that maybe I didn't pick up just because I'm looking for either stuff for myself or quick flips. I'm not looking for bulk right now. Um, so I went to the Salvation Army and y'all, I don't know what's going on there. Actually, the girl that used to work there I ran into her a while back and she quit because she said the other lady they hired does nothing. And I can definitely see how that's true. Every time I go there, there's nothing new in the store. It's the same stuff I've been seeing that's not selling and just hanging out on the shelves. Like, I don't know what they're doing with donations, but they ain't putting them on the shelves. So I decided to stop by to see if they had anything and they didn't. And, um, now we're inside the store and y'all this was yesterday and i'm still thinking about this chair it was so cute i love the little arms on it oh i just don't really have anywhere to put it but i can't get it out of my head i don't know do y'all think i should go back and pick up that chair i don't know these were really cute i wish they wouldn't have the little cutout. and then that one i was thinking i could take the deer off but it was four dollars and i just passed on it but that, i thought that was really cute This little ironing board is still on my mind too, but I don't know if it's a project I wanna get into. I like how they have it set up here as like a little side table. Um, it would be cute, you know, just um, like in somebody's room, just to kind of decorate, or even in a kid's room. Like if I painted it pink, how cute would that be in a kid's room to play with? But I pass on that as well. But that one's still in the back of my head. These are always cute next to a fireplace with some wood on it. It's not as like antiqued as I like my brass to be, but I find those all the time. So if you're looking for one and you're local, let me know and I'll pick one up the next time because I always see one. Here's a Black & Decker Jigsaw, which is a really good brand, but it was $15 and I don't need a Jigsaw. So I pass on that as well. Always lots of glass and dishes and everything at the thrift stores. I like this mirror. I like the size of it. It was really long and skinny, but it was $25. So that was a bit much. This is normally something I would totally pick up. It was cute. Look at those little scallop edges. I would put this on a shelf with like a little succulent or something in it. That would be cute, but I passed on it. It was a dollar. I probably would have sold it for $8 or something. Just like I said, I'm not looking for a lot of stuff to sell right now, so I'm just being really picky about what I'm picking up. I do love old quilts, but they have to be the right color, and this one is just not the right color. And this cute little baby bed, I was thinking about this for Ren, but it didn't actually rock, and I think I want like a spindly one. That would be cute. She's really into baby dolls. 
Lots of picture frames, always lots of picture frames at the thrift stores. They had baskets, but not anything that I was interested in. Oh, they had some really cute shoes, but of course, all the ones I really liked weren't in my size. Oh, I thought these were cute. They kind of look like a, uh, what's those things that come apart? An avocado? No, not an avocado. I don't know. I can't think of it, but um, they were falling apart. And then this is a brass like little candle hanger thing, but it was super thin brass, not like that awesome thick glass. And I totally just dropped that on the ground. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So like I said, I was super picky, but this had to come home with me. Look how cute this is. Adorable, right? It's kind of falling apart. I think this is how it's supposed to look. I don't think all this stuff was on it and then started falling off. But either way, I like it. And I have that other cement squirrel that this would look good with. I'm sitting in the parking lot. I feel like people are looking at me. Let me put this in the back. Oh, okay. All the Christmas stuff was half off. So like I couldn't pass up these bottle brush trees for 50 cents so like there was a bigger size and a smaller size i don't have any of these in my house and i feel like they're super popular so if they're like for 50 cents they were cute they got like a little wood bottom to them so i went ahead and picked those up and i hate this stuff y'all but it was on my daughter's christmas list so let's see if i can even show y'all it's so big oh don't you hate this stuff oh my god it ends up everywhere it was four dollars so i'm like all right i'd rather pay four dollars and get it at the thrift store than pay full price at the regular store so i don't know if i'm gonna save that for christmas because i kind of i don't spend the same amount on my kids but i do give them equal amount of presents so like they need the same amount of presents to unwrap and the same amount of stocking stuffers um because just at different ages you spend different amounts of money on them so i don't worry about that part but i just want to make sure because god forbid one kid has two presents to open and another kid has three you can't have none of that so you gotta have equal amounts so i need to look at what i have and see if i'm gonna give her just give that to her just because um or save it for christmas and then i bought this for the baby so poor thing has like no riding toys outside and i thought this one was really cute it's really slim so it's not going to take up a lot of room in the garage it was four dollars she can sit on it and scoot around so I was excited to find that. Oh, I got something else for her too. Let me see. I do not like this angle. It gives me such a double chin. I hate that. But it's the only way my uh, phone fits. Okay, look how cute these little joggers are. I'm pretty sure they're girls. They're from Target. They're adorable. So I picked those up for her. I've been on the lookout for clothes, but I, find a, I haven't been finding a lot. But let me show y'all what is in the parking lot um that i'm in of the thrift store look at that they opened a harbor freight in my town this is like the most exciting news since the dollar tree i haven't been yet and since i'm right here and i need some bride nails i figured we could go in and i could show y'all like what's my favorite tools and pick up a few things that i need so y'all want to do that these are all the brad nailers. I have a 16 gauge and an 18 gauge nail gun. And then right below them is all the nails you need to go with them. They have different size nails. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the side of your nail gun and it'll give you all the info. It'll tell you what gauge you have, if you have 16 gauge, 18 gauge, and what size nails you can fit in the gun. It's usually like quarter inch to two inches, but all that information will be on the side of the gun that you purchase. And then here are all the paint sprayers. This is the kind I used to have, and I think I'm gonna go back to this one, the zero gravity one, once my other one poops out on me. And this is the kind I have now where it's like more of a metal quart size bucket, but I really like the zero gravity because you can use it till you literally have no paint left. So I think I'm gonna go back to that style. And then I love the drop cloths from Harbor Freight. They are super cheap, but they have two different colors. So they have more of this gray one and then they have more of this beige one. So make sure you're checking that out when you go grab a drop cloth. I don't have a preference for either one, 
but if you're making curtains or whatever, you wanna make sure you get the same color. And then here are the sanders. Now, when you're looking for a sander, make sure you get one that plugs in. They have the plug-in kind or the battery kind. I accidentally bought the battery kind last time and I had to return it because I didn't have batteries for it. And then this is the cheapest one, $34. And all the sanding discs you need are right above the sanders. And then I wanted to go look at the air compressors. So this is the cheapest one that they have. It is $54. I have a small one like this that I use for inside my house because it's easy to carry around. And as you get to the bigger air compressors, they get more expensive. So in our shop, we have a really big one like this. And this is the one we use for every day. And you can see they get pretty expensive. I'm all right, let's do a little Harbor Freight um, haul. Now you want to make sure before you go into Harbor Freight to check for coupons. So I did get a few things and usually there's always a 20% off coupon, but for some reason they don't have one for December. So I bought this thing and I want to use the 20% off, but I couldn't, but it's still a great price. So I was looking at the small air hoses for my little air compressor that I use inside my house. It's annoying having to take my huge um, hose so I thought this would be perfect for that. Now, just for the hose, it was $7. But then this whole kit with like all the, um, what is called? Like the attachments and stuff and the pieces you need to attach the hose to the air compressor. This was $14. So I just went ahead and got this. That way, I'm not sure what we have at the house. But I mean, you can never have enough of these things. So for seven more dollars, I'm like, let me just get everything I know I'm going to need to attach this to my air compressor. So I'm pretty excited about that because I won't have to carry that big old hose around anymore. Oh, and then I got these, y'all. Bag clips are like a major problem at my house. They just disappear. I don't know what happens to them. So this was, they're like clamps, but they will work really good as chip and cereal clips. 22 pieces five dollars different sizes so this is going in my kitchen until i need some more because they seem to disappear okay i cannot have enough tape measures i have one in my car a few in my house i need one like literally every three feet in the shop i feel like i am constantly looking for a i gotta turn the air down it's hot in here y'all um I'm constantly looking for a tape measure so these were 98 cents on sale the limit was three so I bought me three and then I got these little stocking stuffers for the kids you cannot have enough flashlights they play with them they lose them so these were 50 something cents so I got them each one of those the baby doesn't need one that's for the big kids and then I needed the one thing I went in there for some brad nails so these are both 18 gauge and I got one inch and one and a half inch. The prices by far for nails are the best at Harbor Free. That's where I get all my nails from. Now they didn't have any small sizes. It was big sizes. So I'm going to have to check back in a few weeks because I saw there was places for them. They just didn't have them. So I'll be checking back. But I think those two sizes are what I need it for now. All right, let's go hit up another thrift store. They did have a lot of Christmas stuff here as well, but their stuff was full price. They hadn't discounted yet. I really like this bell. That, how cute would that be in that textured paint? I passed on it because I'm not doing Christmas decor right now for resale, um, but that would have been cute. Look, a Santa costume. Anybody need a Santa costume? Oh, I really like these cups if you're going for that vintage look. One side says Merry, the other side says Christmas. It kind of looks like stained glass. They had some brass horns. Those were cute. Passed on them as well though. It was only $2 for the set of three of them. They had some really pretty Christmas plates and decor. Maybe one day I can have my table set out and be able to get some of this fun stuff, but now is not the time. I thought these were really cute. They look like something that you would have got from Target. But those coffee mugs are not big enough for me. I like the big, big coffee mugs. Lots of baskets. I thought this one was interesting. $2.
These are the kind of baskets I like to hang on the wall, but I already have a lot in this size, so I did not pick up those, and I don't even know how much that they were. A little duck basket. I thought this one was cute. I like the uh, design on it. Lots more Christmas stuff, Christmas decor, Christmas dishes. I thought this set was pretty as well. They had Christmas trees out. I thought they were a little expensive for secondhand Christmas trees. They really need to bring down their prices on the Christmas stuff so they actually sell it before Christmas. They always have lots of kitchen stuff at this store, lots of glass, lots of plates. Pots, pans, everything. I actually did buy this little short fat pitcher. I forgot to show it in uh, the haul after, but I thought it was really cute. So that's one of my favorite thrift stores. It's always like so nice and so clean. The people there are so friendly and I usually almost always find stuff. So I did find a few things, y'all. How cute is this? With like one single little pick coming out. I've just never seen anything like this. It doesn't have a tag on it. I don't know where it's from. It was $2. I mean, it had to come home with me. Like, this could not stay at a thrift store. I just thought it was so cute. And then I got this little basket for a dollar, which I think would be perfect either in the girls' room or possibly the girls' bathroom, just to put, like, a few little things that usually are scattered about. And I got the baby some clothes. So I got this little shirt. How cute is this? It's a little sketcher shirt. And it has a little ruffle in the back. I wish I had time to look at anything else besides the baby's clothes, but I'm in a hurry. And then this is just a great active shirt that will match with a lot of leggings that she has. Y'all, how cute is this dress? It was $2. Look how adorable. It's probably not going to fit her till the summertime, which is fine. It's sleeveless. The little pom-poms. I think this looks like, oh, it's from Old Navy. I'm going to say it looks like a Target dress, but it's from Old Navy. The little Razorback. So cute. And anytime I pick up I mean, anytime I see chambray, I pick it up because it's classic. You can dress it up, dress it down. It just looks good on everybody. I love when I can find chambray, chambray <laughs> pieces. And that's it. Because like I said, I'm being super picky. picky. Oh my God, y'all, what's going on with me? I told y'all I was tired. So um, now I'm headed across town. I have a facial appointment. So one of the best things I did for myself in 2019 was I signed up for the monthly membership at the Med Spa in town. So once a month, I have an outstanding appointment with my uh, facialist who has become my friend. I call it my lunch date because we just chit chat and visit and she does whatever my face needs. So pretty much always dermaplaning, which I love. I'm hoping to get a chemical peel today. Um, facials, um, hydrofacials, like whatever my face needs, she does. It's $99 a month for the membership. Plus I get discounts off of all kind of stuff like Botox fillers, products, like whatever else I'd want to get, which I don't always get all that stuff. But you get the the membership, which includes the, the facial, whatever she does to you. Plus you get discounts on whatever else they have. So like I had, you know, those brown spots that women start to get and just wrinkles. Oh God, I'm like not, not enjoying getting wrinkles. So anyway, like I am so happy I did this for myself. Like all my brown spots are gone and now it's just like maintenance, um, maintaining what she has already done, trying to keep the aging away. Like that is great if you're one of those people that are just like, I'm gonna age gracefully. 
I am not one of those people. I am not aging without a fight. Like, I'm going to work out. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to take care of my skin. Like, I'm going to do what I got to do to stay looking good for as long as I can. I just can't help it. I just care about that stuff. So, anyway, let me get going. I'm going to go over there, relax, try not to fall asleep. <laughs> and then it's time for the second shift of my day when the kids come home. And, yeah. So, probably next in this video will be the estate sale that I'm going to tomorrow this was definitely like a typical estate sale lots of old stuff lots of outdated stuff but i thought this was funny they had masks at this sale so i guess that's something new we're gonna start seeing like people having masks at their garage sales and estate sales and stuff like that but yeah there just wasn't too much that i was interested in hello and a lot of stuff was overpriced. But you always got to come check. You never know. You never know what you're going to find. These little wooden spools were cool. Um, I'm trying to get prices for y'all so y'all can see. Like they wanted $30 for this set. That's too much. They had a little bit of brass. But I wasn't interested in none of this stuff. And then they had these milk jugs. Or I don't know what they're called. They wanted $50 for this. Yeah, no way. Now this piece, I look, came back and kept looking at a few times because I love like a nautical theme in Waylon's room and in the boys' bathroom. And I really liked it, but I just wish the background would have been a different color. It was like that yellow oak and it, there was no way for me to paint it. So I just passed on it. I don't really care for brown Crocs. I much prefer white ones, but the prices were way too high on those. They had lots of glassware, lots of linens, little stools. Stools always sell for me, but not for $8. I don't sell them for that much. They look great, painted, and distressed. They had a few books. I kind of stopped picking them up unless I buy them for myself because they don't resell that great anymore. Lots of pillows. I love antique toys. I did not purchase any of these. This boat was so cute. That'll look cute in a boy's bathroom as well. On a little shelf. This stool was $20. I feel like you could buy that at a store for $20. They have some little tinker toys. They have some really cool old games and old kids toys. They had this little kid's desk, but they had a $40 price tag on it. And then clown costumes. Those are kind of cute. <laughs> and then some afghans, but not in the right colors. Those are a little bright for me. So I just got back home from the estate sale. But before we get to the amazing stuff behind me, let me show y'all what was at my front door when I got home. Somebody left me two big boxes of stuff I don't know who it was they didn't leave a note I didn't get a text message but yeah how awesome is that so let's see what's in here okay we got a great vine wreath these are always good I actually just used my last one on my last thrift to treasure video so that'll be good I use that for something wow okay I'm not gonna take this out but it's full of like really big picture frames that's cool. Nice big picture frame. Oh, let's see. Let's see what's in this box. Oh my God. How cute is this? I think it needs to be painted. I'm not crazy about the colors, but I like the shape. That's really cute. A little chips and salsa basket. Obviously, if somebody one of my customers, they know how I feel about baskets. This looks like a coconut basket. I don't know about this one. What is this, a placemat? What could you do with this? It's wooden. That might be a cool wall hanging or something, if I put it on wood. I don't know. We'll think about that one. Ooh, this is a good one. Look at this long basket. I love this. This is like 
perfect little tray because it's not too tall. You could put stuff in it and still have room to decorate. I am outside filming this, so I'm sorry for the background noise. If it's really loud, I won't film out here again, but I figured it was just easier to open up my trunk and show y'all what I got. So yeah, somebody dropped that off. I'm sure at some point I'll find out who. Okay, so as you saw from the footage, the estate sale, the prices were a little high. I already knew that. These people aren't the same ones um, that I made friends with in town. It's a different estate sale group and I know their prices are always high. But there's always deals to be found too. So actually I found, I didn't film this part because there was a lot of people there um, in that area. But in the garage, they were still pricing stuff. So every time I asked for a price, it was a good price because whenever you don't have time to think about it, like you seem to give a better deal, I do the same thing. That's why I try to have everything priced ahead of time so people don't catch me off guard when asking for prices. Um, Cause like, I'll be the same way. Like if you come to my house and you want some and I haven't priced it yet, you're probably getting a good deal because I don't know, that's just how it works. So anyway, I did get a few things. Oh. And I had some casual, casual, casualties just now. So I bought these two candy dishes. They were the ones that like kind of sit as, as at an angle and like they were all glass. And they even had glass toppers and I was going to keep them for myself. They were really big and they, it was $5 for the set of two of them. And as I was moving stuff around to get ready to film, they were in this basket. This basket fell over onto my cement glass everywhere so i swept it up but i'm gonna have to come out here with a vacuum because the door to my party room is right there so i don't want people stepping on glass so oh i'm gonna have to come back in my driveway that would be fun and i was keeping these for myself oh I hate when that happens so annoying okay and then i got this ticking stripe the whole pack of ticking stripe was two dollars and it's like different kinds of ticking stripe like each pattern's a little bit different. So I don't know what I'm using this for, but it's not a bad thing to have around. Um, so yeah, I was definitely picking that up for $2, especially since they were all different. Cause I don't use like a whole lot of fabric. If I use fabric for some, it's just usually a small amount. So that's perfect. Um, this basket is super nice. It has a wood bottom and it's really cute. Somebody obviously used it for a plant. And I might do the same. I might sell it. I don't know. But this was a nice basket and it was only three bucks. Got that. And then I got a lot of stuff for me. Because I don't mind paying like a little bit more if I'm keeping it. So these, I know you can get them at the store, but they were there. So I got them. I paid a dollar. For these, I needed some to go in my kitchen drawers just to organize my junk. You know how that goes. So that's boring. Okay, these were only a dollar. So I had to rescue them. I have to give them a good home. They have like a wooden top, a wooden bottom. This is really back in style now. And then this is like needlepoint right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this brown string into to a, a jute rope. And I feel like that's just gonna update the whole piece. I absolutely love this. I have a lot of stuff like this in my girls' rooms and their bathroom. I just think it's so pretty. The colors are pretty. I love that pink and that green. And I'm just gonna update the rope and it'll be ready to go into my home. And then they had these. And again, I'm gonna update the rope. There was two, so I'm keeping one for myself. This is going to look so cute in my outside kitchen. It's, it almost looks like painting, but it's not. I don't know if it's new or old, but I like it. Um, it's just like a Louisiana swamp scene. And then it has Louisiana at the bottom. It's long and skinny. I really like this. So I got two. Um, I'm keeping one for myself, like I said. And then the other one I will sell because... Somebody else needs that in their outside kitchen. Like these tapestry style things are very much back in style right now. Um, some more stuff myself. This is some really nice Christmas greenery. Let's open it up. It's just like some sprigs, but I use this stuff like crazy. Either to put on my presents or just to add in to my decor around the house. Like in the kitchen, I didn't overly decorate, but you just stick these things here and there and you're done. Like your uh, kitchen feels like 
a little bit Christmas cozy, you know. And then they had this floral that reminded me of like the dry floral that is so in style right now. How pretty is this? It was a dollar and it just looks and feels very expensive. It's a little smushed right now, like it needs to be opened up, but I thought this was so pretty. So I got this floral and floral is something I use all the time, whether it's in my house or just to accessorize my pieces that I'm reselling. And I thought this was a very pretty fall leaf pick for a dollar. This one's really, really pretty. So I got that. And then I got these two crates. Crates are super hard to find around here. It's just not something we have a lot of. This one was $3. It has like a little bit of graphic on the side. Now, I do believe that it is old, but it doesn't look old. So I, I'm definitely planning on putting like my antiquing uh, wax on it just to like darken it up and give it that really, really aged effect. But I think this is a perfect size to put on somebody's coffee table and just like make a little vignette right here. That would be cute because it's not super high. It's maybe like, I would say five or six inches right here. So yeah, it's not like a huge crate and I think I can sell this. So I picked up two of them. They had they had four, but the other ones look like pallet wood, where these kind of look like smaller crates to me. So I just got these two. I paid $3. I'll probably sell them like around $15 or so. And I, I feel like those will sell. Okay. So that's everything. Let me move this all out of the way. That's everything I got from the estate sales. Now... I wasn't planning on going to another sale, but I was on Facebook last night and there was a sale about 45 minutes away. Now I saw it last week. It is this guy that I know. I buy a lot of wood and other things from him and he tears down houses. He cleans out uh, old houses, stuff like that. So he was cleaning out a house and it was so much stuff, like all the stuff that I love. But last week I was just too busy. I just had to let it go and i've been regretting it like i should have went to that sale i should have made time i should have made time last night it pops up on my facebook he's having the sale again my husband's like just go just go because you know how it is if you go to sales and stuff too you have that fomo that fear of missing out and it was just eating at me so i'm like all right i'm gonna go so i went first thing this morning i dropped the kids off at school i was there like 8 8 30 and in and out so it did not take up a lot of my day and but i still oh my god i'm gonna tell you what happened so in the footage like you i'm gonna I'm show it after like there's a lot of stuff but there was a whole house okay and he would not let me go in the house i'm like i can't go in the house he's like no they're not letting anybody in the house and i kept calling him by his name like you know come on we're buddies let me in the house let me in the house i want to buy stuff and he's like i'm sorry the owners are here they're not letting anybody in the house oh so that FOMO has not gone away because I cannot stop thinking about all the stuff in the house that I could not buy. Oh, it was for sale. It was for sale, but they weren't letting nobody in there to get it. Oh man, that was so annoying. So I'm like, oh, well maybe he, he said, we'll keep pulling stuff out. I'm like, well, maybe I'll come back in a few weeks and it'll be like all new stuff for me to look at. He's like, oh no, we're just doing it this weekend. And that's the end. Everything's going in the trash after that. I'm like, are you serious? Why are they not letting people in the house? It just made no sense to me. So if the owners wouldn't have been there, I know he would have let me in that house, but he didn't want to get in trouble, I understand. But I still got some good stuff, some good deals. I was being really, really picky about what I was picking up because I don't want to be overwhelmed with stuff. I got a lot going on right now, but it did feel good to like get out and shop a little bit. All right, let me show y'all what I got. I only paid $20 for all this. So what I did was I made a pile. And then when I was done shopping, I'm like, come look at my pile. Tell me how much I owe you. He said, oh, that looks like a $20 pile. I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's cool with me. Okay. These are going to be the most gorgeous candlesticks. Look at that chippy paint. Look at all this detail. I love this. I just need, I think it was a leg to something. I think it went this way. 
So it has this little plastic piece right here. I need to get that off. I'm gonna put like a wood base on it. And yeah, that's gonna be a candlestick. But look, I got two of them. Oh, these are gonna be hard not to keep because they are gonna be so gorgeous when I'm finished with them. That's awesome. And then I got this, I never seen one like this. Like look how cute this little glass is with this little bubble at the top. It says TD and it says Thompson's Dairy. So I don't know where that's at, but this is definitely old. Let's see if it says a town on it. It's one quart. Oh, it's in, from Washington, D.C. 11th Street in Washington, D.C. Seriously, the sun's gonna come out? Sorry, y'all. Hopefully it goes back away. It's very, very cloudy overcast today. Okay, and then I found this little tarnished silver tray and I've seen people like put a little shelf in here to hang on the wall. So I thought this was like perfect for that. It already has the holes on the side that'll be easy to put a screw in. And I'm not gonna paint it. It's like the perfect tarnish. It's not like that um, rainbow tarnish. So I'm gonna put a cute little white shelf this way or this way, I think. I feel like th it needs to be this way. And then you could hang something right here too, a little tea towel. That would be cute. So that's the plan. Maybe I'll do this on a thrift to treasure. That would be an easy one. Okay, he did have a good, look. This one comes with a wasp nest. Um, he did have a lot of enamel out, but the prices were a little high. I think the the owner had priced those because there was a few other things I was interested in. And I was like, I, I made offers, but they weren't coming um, down a lot on the price. So I just had to pass on them. Not a big deal. So this one's really cool. It was only $3. It's a really good size. So... I feel like this is going to sell. It actually has some holes in it, but not too bad. So this would be really good if somebody wanted to use this as a planter. Because you literally don't have to like drill any holes. It'll be perfect. It's not like falling apart at the bottom. You know what I mean? It just has like a few little rust holes in it. So that was super cute. And I was excited that he only said $3 because the rest of the enamel was like expensive. And then... I got two of these galvanized tubs. Really awesome. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit bigger. And it's really popular around here to do like Cajun, Louisiana themed trees. So I'm going to post these right away because if somebody has a tree like this, that they need this as a tree skirt. How cute would that be with some little shrimp boots next to it? Oh my God, I might need to do one for myself. That would be so cute. I actually really wanted to do like a Louisiana themed tree in my outside kitchen. That was the plan this year, but that didn't happen. I'm always just too busy around Christmas time to do like too much extra, but that'd be cute. Okay, look at all of the bumps and dings in this one. And it's like the good kind of age, you know? Love this. So this one's a little bit bigger. probably gonna sell those for around 30. I got a really good deal on them. I'm gonna pass them on for a good deal. $30 for an antique tub like that. That's a good deal. Okay, let's see. I got this little cutting board. It already has feet on it. I'm probably just gonna sand it just a little bit and then seal it. Uh, it already has like all the knife marks and everything in it. And this would be so cute in somebody's kitchen as a little tray. I just need to clean it up a little bit. Maybe age it a little bit and seal it up. And yeah, perfect little tray. Then I got this little antique ladder. It does open. I think I'm going to put like a nice top on it. Probably like a white one. Maybe cypress I don't know I hadn't decided but these are cute as like little plant stands like outside your house or even in your house you know if you don't have little kids to put cute stuff so I feel like this is like a small piece that will sell well and when it's already perfectly aged like that's what I want I don't have to do nothing I just think it needs a new top on it and then okay I don't even know if y'all gonna better see how big this thing is 
it looks like cypress it was an old screen because you can still see the screen on the back but to me it's the perfect frame for like a super long sign so i'm not sure i'm trying to show y'all the whole thing what i'm gonna do with it yet but i just knew i had to have it look how pretty i love this so yeah i'm gonna make some awesome with that you gotta save the junk and then you'll see in the video there was so much wood and doors and stuff like that but it just i already have a bunch of wood i bought from him that i'm still going through and a lot of the wood had still had a lot of nails and everything in it and that takes a lot of time to deal with that so i just all right squeaky car uh i just decided to pass on all the wood I just didn't I have enough to deal with already and I know where he's at if I want to go get more so okay. this basket was kind of cool but mostly I just needed something to put all my junk in so yay I get so excited when I find these these are so cute you turn them upside down you put some floral in them you hang a tea towel I actually feel like I had somebody that wanted one of these and then there was spindles there's a whole pile of spindles i was pretty picky about which ones i got because i have a lot of them so i got four like that that was probably you know a table and then i got these two this would make the cutest little spindle box i like this one this one i'm gonna save for a spindle box look how cute this might need to be a spindle box too I love how like the center is different on these two that's cute and then these I'll probably like just kind of cut it apart and use the different pieces for like uh, legs on trays or whatever things like that I love when I find baskets like rusty like this so I'm gonna take if I can which I can cut it off I'm gonna take the handle off and then this will just be the cutest little rusty basket to put some floral or fruit or whatever you want in it. Not real fruit, fake fruit, but you know what I mean. I have one of these in my house and I love it. Love it, love it. And that's it. That's everything that I got. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know y'all been asking for a haul video, so I'm glad I was able to give a one. Y'all leave me a comment and let me know what was your favorite thing that I found. And if you like this sort of videos, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share. I hate saying that on every video, but it really makes a difference. Like the more you interact with my videos, the more YouTube recommends it to other people and then the more my channel grows so it's kind of like a snowball effect so um yeah i think that's it y'all stay tuned i'm going to post a video of me walking around that old house that i just talked about the stuff i showed y'all and y'all have a great day i have to get to work christmas is like what a week and a half away oh my god i have to finish all these orders all right y'all have a good day bye there was just boxes and stuff absolutely everywhere. So I just kind of made a quick pass around and just mentally prepared myself to start digging. I don't mind digging at all. I just have to be in the mood to do it. Now they did have all this amazing old wood, but like I said, I passed on all of it. I don't really need any right now. I have a lot that I bought actually from the same guy that's putting on the sale and it had a lot of nails in it. So I just didn't want to deal with none of that. I'm sure whatever he don't sell, he'll take back to his shop and I can buy it at a later date if I want it. So this window, ugh, I'm still thinking about it. It was big and it was in really, really great shape. I asked the lady, which I think was the owner of the house. I said, how much for the window? She said, I don't know, make me an offer. And I was like, okay, let me think about it. And I never saw her again. I mean, if she, if she would have let it go for like $20, I don't know. I don't know. I just had to pass on it. It was too big, too much to deal with. 
This sink was awesome though. How cute is that? Like low sink, like long, skinny. I love that for a kid's bathroom. That would be adorable. They have lots of fish tanks, even more wood, just crap everywhere, y'all. And some of it was crap, but some of it was good too. You just had to dig. Look, a whole pile of spindles. Yay. I love that they kept that. Like most people would throw that kind of stuff away. But this this person definitely had a problem with throwing stuff away. <laughs> so the guy told me, he's like, if you want, you can get a flashlight and dig through here. Uh, no, thank you. Like maybe if I would have saw something worth digging for, but there was like 10 hamster cages and junk like that. So yeah, I was not <laughs> about to get into that mess. All right, this was like a blue tarped area. That's why the lighting is like this. And I guess this is where they put the nicer stuff. You know, a lot of stuff, um, a lot of this I passed on. The prices were just too high for me. I don't sell my stuff at high prices. So I try to find good deals and pass it on. Luckily, these amazing things did not have a price tag on them. So I was able to score them in my bundle deal. Had some really cool like enamel and galvanized pieces, but the prices were a little too high. I did offer them lower prices and they didn't take them and that was fine. Thanks for watching and give this video a 